Hi, my name is Brandon Bunn, and this is a story about how God changed my life. Before my family attended church here at Nashville United Methodist, uh, we didn't attend church anywhere. And years ago, one day my wife suggested that we try to find a church. And I outright told her, no, I was not going to church. I didn't need to go to church. I was comfortable with my life. Well, sometime after that, a woman came to my work, a customer, and she walked up to me and she said, can I give you a hug? I said, sure, I, I like hugs, let's do it. Um, and afterwards she looked at me and she said, look, I know you don't know me, but God is telling me that he has something special planned for your life and that you're gonna do something amazing. Well. After she left, we all, we all kind of laughed because that definitely wasn't me at the time. So, but what she said really stuck with me. It, it's something I held on to. So the next time my wife suggested that we find a church, uh, I said, sure, let's do it. We had heard great things about Nashville United Methodist Church, so we decided to try it out. I'm going to be honest with you, the first time was a little much for me. Coming from a Baptist background, I was a little overwhelmed uh, by the way things were, were done. So when we left, we thought, well, we'll just, we'll look at some other churches. A few weeks pass and my wife says, hey, let's, let's try to find another church. But after talking about it, we both agreed, no, let's, let's try the Methodist church again. And this time it was completely different. This time when we walked in, I felt so comfortable and at ease and we decided to keep coming. So we attended church regularly and after a few months, after much nudging from the Holy Spirit, I decided to lay my pride down and to go to the altar. And it was at that moment that I decided to give everything to Jesus and it was the most amazing experience I have ever had in my life. For the first time, I felt God's presence. So after a short period of time, we decided to join the church. Um, I started to get involved as much as we could. I ended up joining the worship team and started teaching Sunday school. And things were great. And then one day, my wife found out she was losing her job. But for some reason, I wasn't worried. I didn't freak out like I normally would. And I told her, we need to just pray because God's gonna take care of this. He's gonna handle it. And he did. Uh, she was unemployed from her full-time job, I think, for a weekend. And she said, hey, I got an interview today. I was like, awesome, who are you interviewing with? And when she told me, I lost it. I just could not believe it because the person who was interviewing her just happened to be the same lady so many years prior had told me that God has a special plan for you and you're gonna do something amazing. I said, you're getting a job today. And she did, she got a job that day. It was a huge blessing for our family. You know, if you would have told me all those years ago that today I would be on the worship team a worship leader, a teacher, a loving follower of Christ, I would have laughed at you. But it's amazing to see God's plan play out, especially over so many years. So we have to always remember that God is faithful. It's all about His time and His will. As long as we trust Him and we surrender to Him, He's going to look after.